South Florida nursery workers, many of them undocumented, met today with the acting Secretary of Labor, Julie Sue. After hearing their concerns, she sat down with CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor for a one on one interview about their rights when it comes to a healthy working environment. They feel privileged for being hurt. They are some of the men and women who work in South Florida's nurseries, who feel nobody has hurt them for years. This Wednesday, they had a chance to voice their concerns with the acting Secretary of Labor, Julie Su. They talked about working under extreme heat. They talked about being denied some of the basic protections. <laughs> We want to know that we're not alone. Please listen to organizations who speak on our behalf, said Sandra Asensio, referring to We Count, a workers' advocacy organization which most of their members are immigrant workers. We, we want all workers uh, you know, in, in America to know that the laws apply to them um, regardless of where they came from. And what can the federal government do for them? Part of the reason that I'm here today is to remind all working people that under federal law, you are protected, um, that you should not experience wage theft, uh, that you should be um, guaranteed the ability to go home healthy and safe at the end of the day, and that you have a right to report violations to us and that we will enforce those laws. On Monday, the five Miami-Dade County Commissioners on the Community Health Committee voted 4 to 1 in favor of a bill that would require construction and agriculture companies with five or more employees, water and shaded breaks to their employees on hot days. But it's not a done deal yet. The main sponsor of the bill, Commissioner Keone McGee, warned the bill could change in response to pressure from lobbyists. To those employers who've decided that it's cheaper to break the law um, or that the chances of getting caught are really slim, we want to be clear that the Department of Labor is, uh, is on the job and we are going to enforce laws. Meanwhile, outdoor workers in Miami-Dade will have to wait until the next hearing of the Que Calor bill, which means how hot, to find out if they will finally have a law on their side, and that will be in October. In Miami Gardens, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.